It's Italy in the summer. You just can't beat it. Welcome to Sicily by Ape. Taormina is a picturesque town located on the east coast of the island of Sicily. It was founded by the Greeks in the 4th century BC and was known as Tauromenion. During the Roman period, Taormina became a popular destination for wealthy Romans who built many luxurious villas in the area. The town also played a strategic role during the medieval period and was ruled by a succession of different powers, including the Arabs, Normans, and Spanish. Today, Taormina is known for its stunning location, nestled between the sea and Mount Etna, as well as its well-preserved ancient Greek theater, which is still used for performances today. Visitors can enjoy the town's charming narrow streets, elegant shops, and delicious local cuisine. Also known as the Pearl of the Ionian Sea, Isola Bella is a small island located below hugely popular Taormina. It was a private property until 1990, when it was bought by the region of Sicily being turned into a nature reserve. yesterday but uh, it's still a decent distance so I'm just gonna kind of enjoy today enjoy the sights the sounds the tastes the smells the all the senses So I can see it's so windy actually. I rounded, rounded a bit of a corner just north of Taormina a bit. This long stretch of just beach and homes really. A few bars and stuff, but it seems like kind of small, some small villages that just keep going on and on and on. And uh, as soon as I rounded the corner, it's just really picked up the wind today. I can see mainland of Italy which is quite cool I can see Calabria across the way and yeah I'm just kind of slowly cruising I, I don't really have any desire to stop in, in this wind anywhere so I'm just gonna keep going until until I find oh I'm following a truck full of lemons right now uh, 
Wow, that is such an incredible scent. I gotta catch up to him. Whoa, that's good. <laughs> Yum. Ah. Oh my gosh, it's just like this blast of citrus. It's so good. Well, I definitely don't want to stop now. I just want to keep following this guy. But it is super windy. I can feel, I can feel it while I'm driving. So hopefully once I get up around the top, kind of reach Messina, hopefully rounding that edge, it starts to calm down. Uh, I wish you could smell this right now. It's so good. All right, we've made it into Messina. It's very interesting. I've never been into the city of Messina. Uh, it's got a definitely a different, I don't really know, know how to put my finger on it. It's got a different vibe to it overall. Um, it's definitely starting to be driving more similar to Palermo, which is uh, fun and, uh, and wild. <laughs> you gotta be rather on it. The key, especially in these cities, the bigger cities, is like Palermo is the craziest of all of them for driving, without a doubt. But the key is that you just have to be aggressive. You have to just know what you want to do and then just do it. Cool, so I just found this platform and check this out. You got all this that goes all the way out to the far most northeastern point and then behind me back here you can see all of this little church there on the corner and then it goes to Messina over that the port and then across the way you have Calabria. The Strait of Messina is a narrow body of water that connects the Tyrrhenian Sea to the north and the Ionian Sea to the south. At its narrowest point the strait is just 3.1 kilometers wide. The strait has strong tidal currents a unique marine ecosystem, a natural whirlpool, and is the migration point for many bird species. Flight of the most north eastern tip of the island. Got somebody jamming out in a smart car. <laughs> Punta di Faro is a small town located at the most northeast point of Sicily, near Messina. It is a popular tourist destination known for its beautiful beaches, crystal clear waters, and breathtaking views of the Mediterranean Sea. myself wanting to just keep cruising in the Ape. I haven't had much of a desire to get out and explore some of the areas. And I think it's mainly just because I'm just having so much fun 
sightseeing by the Ape by driving. It just feels it's similar, you know, to a motorcycle or a moped, I guess. And I'm just really enjoying cruising around. I just quite enjoy it. The breeze from the little windows and I don't know. I'm just quite content cruising around. gas but we got strawberries for days so we're not doing too bad arrived in Milazzo and I'm literally staying this is the castle in Milazzo I didn't even realize it when I booked it look at the Ape looking so good <laughs> going on with my luck but it's definitely a another festival in Palazzo tonight they keep towing all these cars away from the main drag they I've seen at least five cars towed and now you, yep here comes the procession yeah and before earlier when I was flying the drone they do like a cannon procession from the church where they shoot off just blank cannons and it scared the crap out of me I thought like a bomb went off while I was flying the drone. I don't know what it is, I just can't see, it's like a Tuesday. I just seem to have luck at getting into every festival every day. There's a new festival in the town that I go to. It's nuts. Nothing beats arriving in a Sicilian town or village and finding out there is a festival happening. Many annual feast days have remained unchanged for decades, if not centuries, celebrating the life of a patron saint or some notable event carried down through history. Whatever the reason, any festival in Sicily is guaranteed to be a good time with amazing food, music, dancing, and a lot of laughter, usually ending in fireworks. The Festival of San Francesco is an annual event that takes place in the town of Milazzo in May. The festival is held in honor of St. Francis of Assisi, who is the patron saint of the town. The festival has a long history dating back to the 17th century when the first church dedicated to St. Francis was built in Milazzo. The festival is a religious event with a series of religious ceremonies and processions taking place throughout the town. An important event, bringing together the community and attracting visitors from all over Sicily. 
La festa Sacra Nave Armata della Patria, leviamo i cuori. Salve ed esalta della tua fede, o oh gran Dio, la nostra nazione. Ultimately, I have no idea what the actual meaning or the actual stuff behind it is. Uh, all I know is there's a bunch of boats, and the band keeps playing, and they shot water, and it looks like they threw a reef into the water, and they're shooting water out of the cannons of the Coast Guard boats, and I guess I'll look it up when I get back to the apartment, but it is quite funny that, yet again, this is like the fourth day in a row that the city I've stayed in has a big festival going on and yesterday was nuts going through Catania and all the little towns with all the festivals so I've just hit like the craziest time of the year but I'm gonna get a gelato now or try to and uh, enjoy this beautiful absolutely stunning evening perfect gelatos right here Thank you.